Unilever, they are the maker of Hellman's mayonnaise. Guess what? They dropped a lawsuit it filed back in October against a startup company, Hampton Creek. They're the ones that make egg-free just mayo product. The original lawsuit claimed that Hampton Creek could not call it mayo because it doesn't contain egg. With us now is Josh Tetrick, Hampton Creek founder, and uh, way to go, David versus Goliath, huh? Is that what we've got here? Well, I think to some extent, but I think even more so, we've got uh, hundreds of thousands of people, not just uh, in America, but around the world that said that there's something more to what we're doing. It's more than just whether it's mayo or mayonnaise. It's about that good food should be affordable and accessible. And, and we're pretty proud that, uh, that Unilever saw the light also. If I, if I take a bite of your product and then take a bite out of Hellman's mayonnaise, will I know the difference? You will. You will. You'll, you'll probably be like most people, and you'll prefer ours slightly uh, on a hamburger and chicken salad and egg salad. <laughs> of course. Uh, you wouldn't say the opposite. Say, no, you're going to like Hellman's better. But um, So what, what caused them to get mad at you? Was it just the name, or are your sales to the point where they started noticing you? Well, I think it was a couple things. I think it was one that they, they said in their own court documents that 50% of the people who buy Just Mayo were formerly purchasing Hellman's or Best Foods. We've gone from not being anywhere about a year ago to being in Whole Foods, Walmart, Kroger, Safeway, Target, Costco, uh, there with you a go. partnership with Compass Group. Um, and I think, you know, uh, companies uh, do what they do. But, but I do say that Unilever is full of good people, and I don't say that just to say it. They are, and I think they've, um, they've come to to fall in line with who they already are, and we think that's a positive thing. Mark Lanier, bro, jump in on this thing, yeah. because I, I've never heard of law firms just saying, never mind. Uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something tells me more is up. Let me ask you this question. Is there any chance, uh, do we still have them with us, is there any chance that uh, Unilever's going to be owning just mayo at some point? Uh, there is absolutely no chance at all. Unilever could send us a check for $2 billion for just mayo, and we would politely say no. Uh, there's no uh, sort of underground deal here. I think Unilever just realized that this isn't them, and they decided to withdraw the lawsuit. And we think that's a pretty powerful thing. We're not we're not in this business to be acquired. We're in this business to yeah, see if we can establish I, I something they, that's they, permanent. They, they always say that, but um, what happened? No, really, what happened that they just said they called you up and said never mind? Uh, they called us up and they said we've decided to withdraw the lawsuit, and I think. You know, the, the truth is that we got $21 million uh, in, in free media for this. The truth is that over 100,000 people supported us. The truth is that retailers far and wide stood by us. The truth is, importantly, Unilever actually is addressing these important needs as a business, and they realize this is not aligned with who they are. And, you know, sometimes you end up going with uh, with who you are, and they decide to yeah. withdraw it. There's there's nothing else to the story. I promise you. All right. I, well, it's a fa it's a fascinating story. And uh, Josh uh, Tetrick, I, I will thank, this thank you so much for joining us, uh, Mark. Uh, this is this is where he brought up the point about the fact that nobody really heard of them until the lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will throw this in. It's a loser case for Unilever. That's why they dropped it. Legal opinion here. If the company called itself just mayonnaise, Unilever would have won. But just mayo? I mean, there's the Mayo Clinic. That doesn't... Mayo is not always mayonnaise. You're allowed to use that word. For a pretty fascinating story. But like I said, uh, now, now everybody knows about them, so I'll be looking for them at the grocery store.